Balancing Chemical Equations Easy Algebraic Method This tutorial assumes that you know the basics of chemical equations and algebra. We will start by quickly going over the four steps of this method and then we will solve four simple problems. In this and succeeding samples, the preliminary step of putting a blank line before each term where we will put its coefficient has already been done. Step 1. Select the element or ion whose symbol appears only once at the left side of the chemical equation and also once at the right side of the equation. That would be hydrogen and also oxygen, but we'll try hydrogen first. Since hydrogen is already balanced, there are two atoms of hydrogen here and two here. We will put the same letter coefficient A here and A here. And in step two, put a different letter coefficient in the remaining blank line. So we will put B here. Now in step three, we will balance the remaining unbalanced element, oxygen. How many oxygen atoms do we have here? We have 2B. So we will put 2B here. Equals, how many oxygen atoms do we have here? We have 1 of A. So we will put 1A. Is this the simplest equation? Yes, it is. There's no need to simplify. From this equation, we have B is equal to 1 and A is equal to 2. In step 4, we substitute the values to get the balance equation. Since A is equal to 2, we have 2 here. And since B is 1, we don't have to write anything here. Then A is 2 and the equation is balanced. In this problem, in step 1, we can select aluminum because it appears one step left and right side of the chemical equation. Since aluminum is not balanced, there are two atoms of aluminum here and only one here. We will put the letter coefficient at the side with a greater number of aluminum atoms. So we put A here. How many aluminum atoms do we have? We have 2A. To balance aluminum, we have to put 2A here. Step 2, we put another letter, B, in this blank line. Step 3, we will balance the oxygen atoms. How many oxygen atoms do we have here? We have 2B. So we will put 2B here. Equals, how many oxygen atoms do we have here? We have 3A. So we will put 3 a. Is this the simplest equation? Yes, it is. There's no need to simplify. From this equation, we have B is equal to 3 and A is equal to 2. In step 4, we substitute the values to get the balance equation. Since A is equal to 2, 2 times 2 equals 4. Then B is 3 and A is 2 here and the equation is balanced. Here in step 1, we can select carbon because it appears once at the left and right side of the equation. Since there are more carbon atoms at the left side than at the right, we will put letter A here. Now we have 6A carbon atoms. To balance that, we will put 6a here and carbon is balanced another element that can be selected is hydrogen its symbol appears once here and here we have 6a hydrogen atoms here what shall we put at the right side to balance it to get 6a we must put 3a here so that 
2 times 3a equals 6a. Step 2. We put a different letter, b, here in this remaining blank line. Step 3. We will balance the remaining element, oxygen. How many oxygen elements or atoms do we have here? We have 2b. So we will put 2b here. Equals. How many oxygen atoms? We have 2 times 6a. 12a plus 1 times 3a is 3a. Then 2b equals 12a plus 3a is 15a. Is this the simplest equation? Yes, it is. From this equation, we have b is equal to 15 and a is equal to 2. In step 4, we substitute the values. a is 2, b is 15, a is 2 times 6, we have 12, 2 times 3, we have 6, and the equation is balanced. In this last sample problem, we can select silver here and silver here. There are two atoms of silver at this right side, while only one at the left. So we will put A here. We have two A silver atoms. To balance this, we will put two A here at the left side. Silver is now balanced. Next, we can select iodine. But since we have two A of iodine atoms at the left, we must put two-thirds A here, so that two-thirds A times three is equal to two A. But we don't need to deal with fractions, so we will skip iodine and use iron instead. We can select iron here and iron here. Since there are more iron atoms here, and we have already used up letter A, we will put B here. So we have 2B iron atoms, and to balance that, we must put 2B here. And iron is balanced, and all the blanks are filled up. We will now write the equation. We can write it for iodine, for carbon, or for oxygen. But the simplest is to write it for iodine. How many iodine atoms do we have here? We have... 2a and how many iodine atoms do we have here we have 3 times 2b equals 6b is this the simplest equation no it isn't we can divide both sides by 2 so that we can get 1a equals 3b and from this equation we have a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 1 and substituting the values, we have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Since b is equal to 1, we don't have to write anything here. Then we write 2 times 1 is 2, then a is 3, and the chemical equation is balanced. That's it.